breastfeeding. We're gonna be show you some of the supplies, what you need for breastfeeding, and some of these supplies you really don't need it. And once you pump your milk, know how to store it. Like for example, if you're gonna store breast milk in room temperature, it's gonna be for six hours. After six hours. It's not good enough. It's not good anymore. You can put it in the fridge or whatever, but it won't be good after six hours. It won't be. Don't let it sit at room temperature for more than six hours. That's what I would say. Like if you're using a cooler, it can stay up to a day. It can stay up to a day. Um, if you're gonna put in the refrigerator, it can stay up to eight days. Um, if you're gonna put it in the freezer, it can stay from three to six months, depending on how you use your your freezer. If your freezer, if you use your freezer regularly, if you open it and you know regularly, um, it is gonna stay three to six months. Now, if you if you, if you're using a freezer that is not often open. It can stay up to 12 months, so just depending on your freezer, but it can stay longer. Now I'm going to show you some of the essentials for breastfeeding. And okay, so... So, this right here, this is some Medela Tender Care Lanolin. This here is a life saver. I can tell you that. This is a life saver. I got it from my hospital. The hospital gave it to me. I made sure to get a bunch of them because it helps like when you know when your baby is still trying to learn to latch, you will get sometimes you will get tender nipples. It's safe for baby to ingest this, like eat it, because it has like all natural ingredients, and I loved the feel of it. I loved it. My baby loved it. I liked it. Too. Now this one, I saw it on YouTube. You know, YouTube people. I saw it on YouTube, and uh, a lot of people recommended it, but. When I tried it, my baby didn't like it, so that's why it's still, it's still new, it's still full. I just tried it once. My baby didn't like it, and um, I didn't like the feel of it either. And I didn't like the smell either. This one doesn't have any, any scent to it. Yeah, this one doesn't have any scent to it. Yeah. But, I mean, you... you these are good. It's not like it's not good. They are good, but it's just that my baby didn't like it, and um, I didn't like the the, fit, the texture of it. But this one is what I loved, the tender care that I would recommend. Uh, of course, if you're breastfeeding, it's good to have a breastfeeding bra. I'm gonna show you why you need a breastfeeding bra. Now, this is a breastfeeding bra. This right here is a breastfeeding bra. Um, this one, it snaps right here. It's so easy to breastfeed with this. It makes it so easy so, because you just unsnap it and then your boobs comes out, snap it back. Yeah, and you don't have to take, take out the whole bra and whatever and get messy with it. If you're planning to breastfeed, this is a good buy. Let me see where it, if I can still remember where it came from. I bought it on Amazon, so I will try to find the link and link it below. And then get you some, get yourself some nursing parts. They can be this kind, washable ones. These ones I got them from Macy's. They are, I didn't like the washable. 
but they work I just didn't like because they, they get crinkled in your if you have better ones please feel free to share them let us know which one works for you but this one I got them from Macy's um, they are good with absorption but they get messy in your bra like yeah and then of course you have these ones that are disposable these ones that are disposable this is what I have been using um, that's how it looks like in the inside it's just like a pad yeah. and it's very light and it doesn't crinkle that So one other lifesaver, guys. Okay, so you need your you need your cover, breastfeeding cover, just in case you're in public and you need to breastfeed. Yeah, you can just put it on. Let's put it on, mommy. You can just put it on, and you have your baby breastfeeding. Yes. Um, I got this from Amazon, so I think you can check it out. And then one other lifesaver is these things. These these things. Um, these these are contact nipple shield. They they help. They were very like they were a lifesaver for me, especially first time moms. Um, when the baby is still trying to latch, it's a good one for to help the baby latch, especially for flat or inverted nipples or who babies who have difficult latching. This is a good one for you. Uh, I got this from the hospital. I made sure to get a bunch of them. Um, I'm sure they are in Amazon. What is it that Amazon doesn't have? Here? Yes, right, mommy. They're in Amazon. Yes. Yeah, you can buy them from Amazon. Um, what else? Okay. So now you you need your pump. Do I even have my pump? Okay. So let me show you the pump that I have. So, okay. So this is my pump. Um, this is the pumping part, the main part. It's the, it's just a spectrum, spectrum pump. It comes with everything. It's tubing. I got it through insurance for free. Don't worry. I have this sticker. I make milk. What is your superpower? Yeah. It got, it comes with everything. It got everything. Um, the tubes and all okay that's the the regular spectrum breast pump this is the medical grade one this is the medical grade that you need as a first time mom starting out pumping well there are many others you can recite them one of them is this now this one here I don't know if it's a medical grade but I love it because um, as I was planning to go back to work, I had to find something that works for me. Yeah? So, I had to buy uh, a pump that, that, um, that is, that, you know, I can pump freely without having to get hooked. Oh, this one, you, you have to sit down and pump. And you have to be hooked, you know, to the wall or something. But this one here, I got it. Um, I got it from Mommy's. I think they call it that way. And it it comes with the two wires. These are these are. This is the pumping part. This is the pumping part. You just charge it after it's charged and it's fully charged. You don't have to hook it up to the wall. You can just wear it, and you know, 
Yes, mommy. And do your own stuff in the house or whatever or at work. And then the good part is um, they are very, if you're worried about privacy and all that, they are very like, you can't really tell once you wear it. You can't really tell that there is a pump inside you. I mean, nobody can tell. Of course, you can tell. <laughs> but nobody else around you can really tell that there is a pump. And it's, um, what, is, what is it called? Let me make sure I know what it's called. It's a wearable breast pump. It's a hands-free. I got it from mommy's. I will link. I will put the link down below. So it comes with. I bought two of them because it comes one. Each. But I had to buy two for both both sides. Yes, mommy. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Yeah. I had to buy two for both sides. Now it comes with these two little things. Hooks. They are hooks. So if you they are hooks for your nursing bra. So if you if you have in your nursing bra, you can just hook it up this way. And your pump will be secure inside your bra. Yeah. So this is how the whole pump looks like. Let me see if I can, I can put it up so you can see how, how, um, how it looks. This is the whole part. Now there are other other wearable breast pumps out there, but I found them. Um, I found this one cheaper, very cheap in fact. I got both of these for a hundred and something dollars, so it's cheap. The other one is. Um, do I remember the names? The other wearable breast pumps. Remember, and then I will let you know, guys. But they are very expensive. The other ones in the market is like five hundred to six hundred dollars. This one is just a hundred dollars for both of them. This less things I ever bought, as far as breastfeeding goes. And I probably will not be buying anymore. Of course, I won't be buying, but okay. So this one's, you know, when you're when you're obsessed with breastfeeding, you just wanna buy everything that's breastfeeding, that says breastfeeding to help breastfeeding. Now, this one, they are called. This is from from mommy's too. They are called boob shells. Yeah, boob shield. Now you're supposed to put them in your boobs, and when you have like licking boobs, they can be collecting. Instead of, I guess, instead of wearing like a, a breast pad, you can wear this to collect the excess, and then you can feed it to the baby. It helps with, you know, reducing the wastage. But I found them like my, okay, my boobs were not leaking that much let me say that so I did not have to use this often I probably used it once and that was it so anything else that I've forgotten that is essential for breastfeeding please feel free to share in the comments um, and that's it that's it about uh, breastfeeding essential that's it about like breastfeeding I mean it's still white there's still a lot to be done and you know it's good uh, one other one advantage with breastfeeding that they have actually been doing a research on is you know when you breast breast 
faith, your baby gets antibodies. So they are they are doing a research right now to to determine if it helps babies um, not to get COVID. So that's a research underway. So let's hope for the best. And that's it about breastfeeding. And yeah. And I will see you guys in the next video. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And leave a comment. Give a thumbs up if it was helpful. Yes. Give a thumbs up if the video was helpful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.